What's up? How are you guys today? A lot of you have been asking me to talk about hench herbivore as the poor guy <laughs> ended up in the hospital from his uh, diet or his performance enhancing drug usage, aka steroids, whatever you want to call it. So we've done videos on him before. Personal trainer and nutritionist. Eh? <laughs> I mean, if you're going to argue which is worse for your health, taking steroids or following a vegan diet, I think uh, both are pretty bad, but uh, the vegan diet is surprisingly worse. And the one thing to point out is that any vegans that actually look muscular in any capacity, and this guy, you know, he doesn't have that much muscle mass, he's just kind of shredded, they are all using performance enhancing drugs. Because you guys know, like most vegans look like pale zombie ghouls that fall over in the wind. So uh, we'll see what he has to say. So this is the video he put on his channel addressing the hospital stay. Hench herbivore is practically killing himself in the vegan diet, yet he's still pushing the vegan diet. Mind blown. Let's I mean, the irony of that is it's a carnivore that's shitting on him but all these carnivores are going to have liver damage whether it takes two three four five ten years so he snaps out of the cold and recovers his health as much as he can <laughs> as a vegan i recently achieved a fat-free mass index of 25 the absolute pinnacle of what's bro just looking at how lean he is knowing he's following a vegan crapola diet god knows how many drugs he's using all i'm thinking is how fried his kidneys and liver are from the drug usage trying to maintain the leanness considered achievable naturally but more recently i became extremely ill had to undergo surgery and currently look in about the worst shape of my life i did a post on instagram recently saying that i'd been extremely ill but leaving out exactly what was wrong with me as expected despite there being no context anti-vegans and carnivores immediately started blaming my vegan diet were they right to do so though well i have a definitive answer for you backed up by mainstream medicinal fact so stay tuned for that <laughs> does mainstream medicinal <laughs> tell you to use steroids and diuretics until your kidneys fail so what did happen exactly i developed cholecystitis from a gallstone being stuck in the bile duct of my gallbladder man was i suffering it's reckoned to be a worse pain than childbirth immediately i got admitted to hospital so we did a whole video on gallbladder and gallstones and it's basically from not having enough saturated fat and cholesterol in the diet and bad gut motility. So if you guys want the the full like 101 and explanation on that, but the yeah, high carbohydrate, low saturated fat diets tend to cause gallstones. That's why so many people get them now. After a few days waiting to have my gallbladder removed, I suffered peritonitis when my gallbladder suddenly perforated. Bile leaked into my body and I went into stage four kidney failure. Soon I was under the knife. The bile drained and my gallbladder removed. Post-surgery, as quickly as I went downhill. That sounds really crazy, but it goes to show you how toxic the bile is to the body because it's actually where the liver excretes its toxins into the digestive system, which is then taken out of the body. But you obviously don't want that stuff in the blood. My vitals recovered similarly. Initially, they said I'd be recovering in hospital for 10 days. I got out in only five. Not bad for less, munch of hay. It was a shock being in hospital for a little under two weeks to see how quickly my muscles atrophied. Particularly, my legs soon looked really tiny to me. I also didn't recognize my midsection. Well, this guy almost dies and he's worried about his muscle mass. Surgery, my gut looked like a beach ball to me. This is because the surgeon fills the body up with gas to make his job easier and safer. Happily, I'm starting to see those abs come back through, I'm pleased to say. And now the big question. <laughs> Bro, he's worried about his abs. He's about to drop dead. Are gallstones a vegan thing? F no. By far the most common reason. I mean, if you're suffering from similar problems that people on a standard American diet get, it's, it's not much better. I'm curious if he's going to explain scientifically why his gallbladder exploded. <laughs> For gallstones to develop, it's from eating excess cholesterol. Considering that I've eaten zero cholesterol in the last 11 years. How does that? He's saying gallstones are from eating too much cholesterol, but he hasn't eaten cholesterol. So clearly that's not correct. I'd say I'm eating the most anti-gallstone diet. So how in the hell did I develop gallstones? 
well, most because of- mainstream medicinal science is lying to you, buddy. What's it? probably for my recent cut where I lost 77 pounds. Of course, you can lose weight on any eating modality. On average, vegans are the only group with a healthy BMI, though, of course. So, if you're eating a carnivorous diet, particularly a so-called carnivore diet, where you're eating nothing- They always use these arbitrary measures like BMI and things that don't really matter as a status of overall health, but when your face looks like this, like, like, uh, who cares what you're saying? Doc, that guy, Dr. Gregor, is the worst. The ghoul, Dr. Gregor. We might have to look at him later. Butt flesh. You're at massive risk for developing cholecystitis. That is the worst thing that I've ever been through, and I wouldn't wish that on Cholestasis, my worst enemy. you meant to say? Carnivores, all you're doing anyway is swapping your long-term health for a short-term feeling of health. This isn't vegan rhetoric. This is medicinal fact, as proven by the overwhelming preponderance of scientific data. I get why people are seduced by this strategy. Like all animals, we have three prime directives. Bro, what's wrong with this guy is completely delusional. He's trying to sell his nutritional course after he just explained that his diet put him in the hospital to, and caused his gallbladder to explode. Seek pleasure, avoid pain, expend the least energy. Yeah, bro, I'm right on that. I'll buy that right now. But think about it. If you've been eating carnivore for a while and then put in some whole plant foods, which again are clinically proven to be the healthiest foods in the world, and your gut falls to pieces, then you're not healing, are you? Please run some gut health diagnostics, SIBO tests, organic acids tests, bacterial tests, and actually ascertain what's wrong with your gut in the first place and treat it. And also, to all the wonderful trolls that said, I mean, I mean, this is, this is so ridiculous. Diet must be the cause of my illness. Again, if you're eating animals, you're getting the most cholesterol, so you're the most likely to get this illness. So therefore, you must quit your diet, or you're proving yourself to be a massive hypocrite. And you don't want that, do you now? He's still, he's still is debating that cholesterol causes gallstones that he didn't eat any cholesterol so he shouldn't have gotten them but he still had them so uh, it kind of flew over his head right anyways rant over i'd like to finish with some final thoughts and insights about my terrible ordeal this might sound like complete bull but i promise you it's true given the chance i don't think i'd change anything i came away with a lot to be grateful for <laughs> Firstly, <laughs> it gave me a lot of perspective. <laughs> While I was laying there in pain, bored, and just plain uncomfortable, start thinking about my physique. This is this is the funniest. This is hilarious. Oh my god! He, all he cares about is how he looks and so on. His nonsense. How I look like a hot mess and would need to be out of the gym for another six weeks still. I was about to start feeling depressed when I asked the nurse what was wrong with the guy diagonally opposite to me who was needing constant care. Turns out that this keen cyclist had gone headlong into a ditch and was now paralyzed from the neck down. Immediately I thought to myself, what is he on about? What have I got to complain about? I'm constantly bemoaning mainstream medicine. I liken it to a block sink with a tap left running. They will sell you paper towel after paper towel to clean the mess up with, while preventative medicine says, why not just turn off the tap? Anyways, as bad as mainstream medicine is for chronic issues, I got to feel the benefit of having- Bro, is like the world gonna invert itself when one of these vegans' brains actually turn on? I think the lack of omega-3 and B vitamins in their diet actually prevents them from, you know, actually figuring it out. Maybe he needs to eat some fish and then he'll realize, oh, maybe it's the vegan diet. How well it deals with acute issues. As a bonus, they fix the hernia that I'd had for years. I hadn't got it fixed yet as I was loath to be out of the gym recovering. Many anti-vegans were fond of saying that my hernia was oh. because of my pro-inflammatory vegan diet. Well, number one, the short chain fatty acids produced from eating fiber are the most anti-inflammatory. Do we really, where, where, do we really need to listen to the rest of this nonsense? Because he hasn't given us anything reasonable. He's completely wrong on his hypothesis. He's just trying to sell his bullshit. Don't worry, Hench Herbivore, your muscle boyfriend is still going to like you even if you lose a few pounds of muscle. ...be compound in the world. And saturated fat, such as that found in animal products, is the most pro-inflammatory. So they've got that ass about face, haven't they? And also, I developed my hernia years before <laughs> going vegan, back when I was eating tons of meat. And finally, and most importantly, of course, hernias are not caused by diet. They're caused from straining. But hey, 
when you want to say that veganism is wrong, you've got to make it up. Also, the love that I felt from the hospital staff. Look, it's a combination of a lot of things. You know, you're taking the, the performance enhancing drugs, the steroids, which is inhibiting your liver and gallbladder function, and you're following a vegan diet. But, you know, most vegans don't necessarily get uh, the gallstones and a lot of issues. It's If you combine enough negative lifestyle factors, that's where you get these severe issues where you end up in the hospital. Was immense. I saw how much many of them were struggling and under pressure, but they always dealt with me with such warmth and compassion, making me feel totally comfortable in situations where I may have felt a loss of Yeah, bro, those, those vegans will make you feel good until you literally starve to death eating cardboard and lettuce. Dignity. I could see that those people, like me, were living their life's purpose. I admired them deeply. Of what, shitting their pants six times a day in their own house? Felt honored to see them at work. Speaking of love, I've got to pick up my partner, Gemma. My beautiful angel of a fiance was by my side, holding my hand the whole time. One night when things were particularly bad, she stayed behind four plus hours after visiting time, despite the fact that she's not a fan of being in trouble, as she puts it. Stuff literally had to kick her out. She has seen to my every whim, provided me with the best food, been someone to confide in, and a shoulder to cry on when needed. I mean, not to be insensitive, but isn't, isn't the best food what got you in the hospital in the first place? I've been completely in love with this deeply caring, selfless lady for many years now. Did my vegan diet do this? We still haven't answered the question. We're just rambling and selling stuff. Now I see how deeply she loves me right back. This ordeal has pulled sharply into focus how important Gemma is to me. I don't know what I would have done slash would do without her. Gemma, you are my world. Thank you for being you, my beautiful angel. Being unable to work, I've been able to indulge myself in loads of my favorite things. I've been devouring lots of whole foods, plant-based scientific knowledge from podcasts, videos, etc. Oh yeah, <laughs> come to think of it, I was even pushing... Sucking down more propaganda. Maybe, maybe he did, maybe he did think for a second he had to quit the vegan diet, so he just had to reinforce it with more nonsense. Vegan healthy nutrition while I was in hospital. Uh, guy opposite me, Garth. We got chatting about the whole nutrition thing and then he ordered a vegan breakfast, which uh, caused a lot of kerfuffle for the staff. <laughs> All right. I, I mean, what do we expect? Like, like he basically denied that the vegan diet was to blame in any capacity whatsoever, despite using a false hypothesis of cholesterol causing gallstones, then proceeded to try to sell his nutritional and personal training courses while explaining how happy he is to be a vegan and how good the diet is and how loving the vegan community is. It's, it's hilarious. It's honestly hilarious. No oil sunflower seed spread in parentheses, very healthy. Ooh, will this cause me uh, gallbladder failure or kidney failure? Which one? I mean, I, who knows? Who knows? Makes you know it is interesting how much uh, how much the body can take on these crazy diets with the drug usage and all that stuff. I mean, if they had to remove this guy's gallbladder and he almost had kidney failure, I think he's gonna have a, have a very difficult time moving forward. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, he starts feeling better and maybe uh, his brain turns on and he's sneaking some fish in here and there like Tatomi. But uh, who knows? Anyway, thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully. Uh, you had a little fun today and enjoyed this video, but definitely keep an eye out on the channel over the next few days. We're going to do a new building tour and all that stuff because we moved. So, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, definitely check out those videos. But as always, you guys can go to frank-stefano.com if you would like to support me through my businesses in providing high quality and organic health products and a whole bunch of other stuff. frank-stefano.com. Also, guys... Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon. I think I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow, uh, Sunday, 3, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so if you guys want to join us, definitely uh, hang around. And then I'll, I'll leave it up for a few days if you guys still want to watch it.